present time, the amount of COVID virus and probable Omicron virus in the community is so significant that if someone were to start to demonstrate symptoms compatible with really the common cold, because COVID symptoms are very similar, if not identical to the common cold, it's scratchy throat, sneezing, runny nose, feeling tired. If those symptoms develop, I think the most important thing is for people to already consider themselves as having been infected with the Omicron or COVID infection. So if you do have symptoms, uh, you need to consider yourself positive for COVID. You should isolate yourself from others to prevent transmission of infection. And if you have access, perform a rapid antigen test at home to confirm whether or not you have COVID infection. If we want people not to use and visit the emergency department for the purpose only of having a PCR test. We, we're available for the population. We're there, we're open 24 seven. We absolutely want you to come if you're experiencing significant symptoms with COVID. For example, shortness of breath, uncontrolled vomiting. If you feel listless or dehydrated, uh, we definitely want to see you in the emergency department. But if it's simply for the purpose of confirming your COVID status uh, by having a PCR test done in the emergency department, we do not think that that is a wise use of resources and that is going to put a severe strain on an already overstretched uh, emergency department system.